Thank you to Dr. Wilder for preparing this video. First, tie floss around the bow of the rubber dam retainer, also called a rubber dam clamp, using a pair of cotton pliers. Next, punch a hole in the rubber dam using a hole punch, selecting the right sized hole for each tooth. You can use a stamp that marks where to make the punches for a given arch. Ensure that the punches go completely through the rubber dam. Next, deliver the appropriately sized clamp to the tooth using a rubber dam clamp forceps. Check to make sure the clamp is stable and well adapted. Check to make sure that the prong tips are contacting each line angle of the anchor tooth. Next, pull the ends of the floss through the hole corresponding to that anchor tooth. Gently work the rubber dam around and underneath the clamp as well as around each tooth with your fingers. A water-soluble lubricant, or simply saliva, can help the segments of the rubber dam work in between adjacent teeth a bit easier. You can use floss to allow the rubber dam to adapt around each tooth more cervically. You can use a blunt hand instrument to help pull the rubber dam close around the anchor tooth underneath the clamp. You can use an explorer to tuck in or invert the dam around the cemento enamel junction of each isolated tooth. For easy removal of the rubber dam, gently pull the rubber dam to stretch the segments between each hole and then use scissors to carefully cut away each segment.
use the forceps to remove the clamp and then simply remove the dam from the patient's mouth. You can check to make sure no rubber was left behind between the contact areas of the teeth. You can use floss as an anchor in some cases. Place the floss through a tight contact once and then again. Pull through until you have a small loop on one side of the contact area and then feel free to trim away the excess from the free ends. You can use air spray to help you invert the dam more easily. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.